that some of these leading lights from all around the world come out here and spend a week with us. None of the Zion Darba happens in an impersonal way via an email or a letter. Every single speaker gets met firsthand. Something about Design and Albert is absolutely non-transactional. It's really not about business. So we never lead with that. And we try to, as far as possible, de-institutionalize it and de-corporatize it. And South Africans are very warm, hospitable people. global economy is in the doldrums. But here we are, we were sold out for Design Dubba again. And over and above that, on the expo side, we had a 35% increase in visitors coming through the turnstiles. So often people come out for the really big names, but always we know there's a top caliber, fabulous designer that they haven't heard of that blows them away. I think the gift of design is really confirmed here over these days. This is a good chance to talk with you about the uh, Isemiake world. We have a different approach of design. We try always to question our job. One of our missions is to get a lot more creative people involved with this area of science. You have to make solutions. You have to create things which are good for all the people involved. You put inside elements which are from aesthetics with things which are about awareness. It depends in each project a bit. Traditionally, when you design furniture and products, you work on the product, and the last thing you do is select colors, reverse the whole process, start with color, and then work with shape after that. It may seem that cuisine is complex, it is not. Oh, and no. you will see what we get. Bueno. That is what we got. One of the first things I realized is that it's better to work for love than money. Speakers finish their presentations and they walk back into the hall. You're able then to really share these thought leaders with the Cape Town creative community. In other contexts, people just feel totally scared of doing that. And here it's being more like people are like straightforward and go to your face and that's fantastic. It's a high level conference with high profile in terms of organization, speakers, and the mix of evergreen dinos and inspiring young bloods. Really, I feel it and I get the goose, uh, the power also of this place and of these motivated people. So when you look at that, you really want to see this community strive. South African audiences are, are just so open and hungry and, and willing to, to be there with you. I make many, many nonsense machines. While humans can only see in front of them, fish can see all around. Wonome is a special pair of glasses made by attaching fish lenses on both sides of the frame to simulate a fish's vision. Can you see? Yes. I'll try to hit you with this bamboo sword. Okay. Thank you. Design can be very contagious, and I hope this uh, contagion awakens everyone's sensibilities. International designers, they've got a lot of ideas, but then South African designers are more practical. We really have an activist mindset in doing design in Daba. This will help at least to generate some debate in South Africa about finding different ways of building, about bringing design into low-cost housing, and, and we're proud to be the first to, to have a living example. So I'll leave it up to you to interpret. Welcome to Freedom Park. I think there's a real pent-up demand for design to exist and connect with the world outside the design world. The whole slogan behind Design Daba is a better world through creativity. Absolutely every single person that presents there is top of class, a leader in the world. And the kind of stuff that they were reflecting right now, a sense of humanity, a new sense of purpose, a sense of trying to redesign the world. Everyone's capable of design, everyone's a designer. It's just how we apply ourselves. I wanted to announce Interactive Africa's latest contribution to design, an effort that we're working on with an organization called the African Carbon Trust. There will be a commercial legacy to this project. Design in Darba is all about. That is the new role for artists and designers, to use their power of creative envisioning to invent an ecological, sustainable, wealthy future for all the people on the planet. We would love to share more of the Design in Darba experience, particularly from a developmental angle. How can we give it through to students? 
I saw how small my view of what I was doing was compared to what I see now. People always say that we have the best design in the world, but we don't use it. It was nice to get their take on what they're trying to do to change their design through their country, and I think we could apply that here. Do I have a favorite ad? Yes, it's the one I'm working on now. Well, the rest of the world has a lot to learn if they just pay attention this to South nice. African design. It's pretty open, we, we can do whatever we want. It's about having really, really, really spectacularly talented young people who naturally just output the most amazing things. Bringing something from outside to South Africa is probably the best thing about Indaba. All these big names and people that you only ever read about and you think it's going to be sort of full of tension, but everyone is so friendly and so approachable and in such good mood. I go back positively glowing with new ideas. And it's not just because it's a creative conference, it's because it's here. I would like to be a rock and roll star. Sindaba in South Africa is champion. There's an energy here that is uh, much more spontaneous. In Europe people are more, more blasé, that's really the word actually. And therefore less fun and less receptive. South Africans have taken ownership of Design and Daba Expo and declared it their own national asset. There's a critical mass growing in terms of what we have to offer as South Africans. The purpose of the Design and Daba Expo is to promote creativity in South Africa. The success of the Design and Daba Expo is the vibe that happens over the three days. Every year we're trying to bring a diverse mix to the expo that will uh, please a different taste. There's so many satellite events that take place just off the, the, the platforms which are provided by the expo and the conference. We've done Pecha Kucha presentations. We've had the likes of Haldane Martin, Amanda Led Cherry, Tsai from Tsai Design, Jonathan Shapiro. There's just been a, a, a wonderful lineup of speakers there. Material is not going to be only metal, wood, plastic. How about tissue, animals, people? We have these design superstars who come out for the conference. They interact with our local designers. We had presentations by the likes of Lee Edelquit. The real revival of arts and crafts as a, not only as a theme, but as a mentality. The amount of inspiration our South African design gets out of that sort of interaction is just absolutely priceless. South Africans have a resilience and a, and a creativity that can really lead the world. And that is what South is about. It's changing lives, it's about making a difference, and it's about the greater good. And that is the spirit and soul of the design that is coming through. Lots of reasons to be absolutely cheerful and positive about where South African design is going. The different kinds of design, it really does inspire us to, to also do our own thing. You know. you know, we didn't have design in Daba when we were kids, so they get to see this at the age of 16. Imagine what they'll do when they're 26. All of these elements that, that happen off the floor, which are, are entertainment value, while at the same time putting a very strong message across. There's so, so much talent like in our country as young designers, that's brilliant. So Design and Barber has put us at the front of it where we need to be. Bringing in young creatives, giving them a free exhibition stand, just makes sense. In terms of the professional designers, all of them have raised their games. You're existing as an artist, as, as a creative person, and you feel rewarded by so much good feedback that you get from the people here. With the, the expo having the stature that it does now of being the one place where you can go and, and the who's who of design is represented under one roof. It's just become the default shopping destination for um, local and international buyers.
I was expecting, you know, with the economical downturn, it was going to be quiet. It has been absolutely fantastic. It's it's just great to see the talent that's out here. I mean, it's really it's comparable to what's international. They see your work and their face lights up. That is just the most incredible thing as a creator. It's an emerging market that many good new designers are coming up. People are really turned on by the idea of the arts, not just as uh, expression, but also as the possibilities for developing the economy. Creativity will fuel an economic revolution. Very, very happy that it's grown. Very, very happy that it's been altered in such a big way, but we've still got a lot more work to do. To take the energy and the impetus that we derive from this week into the very wholesome projects that we do in the 51 weeks in between.